this game ends up going the distance here simply because Welcome to game seven, ladies and gentlemen, and we are already in a situation where match point might be possible. Spawning in the top left position as the blue Zerg player representing Samsung, it's the beast that is Solar. The red Zerg player spawning in the bottom right, representing Root Gaming, currently 4-2 down. He's definitely down, but he is not out just yet. He can claw it back. He'll need to go all the way to a game number 9, though. Will he be able to do it with an 8 pool? Ladies and gents, it's Hydra. And we have aggression on our heads right now. Hydra really looking to finish this game early. We'll see if he's able to do it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We have action coming out left, right, and center. We're going to see the hatch first coming out from Solar as well. It's up to 14 supply. The spawning pool most of the way completed already. The Overlord only halfway across the map for Sol. It's going to take him a little while before he gets close enough to be able to see what has gone on. And the hatchery is going to go down. You can see this drone moving down to the low ground here for our blue Zerg. And that hatch spells danger, ladies and gentlemen. And here come the first six Zerglings from Hydra. He is not messing around. If he has larva available, they are Zerglings. And they are going to be Zerglings very, very quickly indeed. Uh, is he able to escape the detection of this? If he actually goes to the left, he'll be able to... Es uh, no, Solar sees it. He would have been able to escape detection if he moved over here. All right. Now the first Zerglings are here. Gas gets immediately cancelled. Spawning pool goes down straight away. Solar knows what he has to do right now. He's uh, removing the gas. He just needs to make sure the spawning pool goes down so he can get his queen, so he can get a potential spine crawler. He wants to try and keep a hold of this natural expansion as well. Hydra still on the one base here. Really looking to bring this back. Very, very dicey here in game number seven. He's pinning his hopes on this. If it doesn't work, then he is out. Uh, he loses his title of the hot seat in the first week he's defending it to Sola. And he's actually attacking the spawning pool. He's preventing the spawning pool from going down, forcing the pulling of drones by the looks of things. And a lot of mining time is actually going down right now uh, for Sola. Oh, wow. A lot of Zerglings actually managing to get up behind the spawning pool as well. And I think the pool is going to be able to be prevented from going down. He's trying very hard. The pool goes down. Zerglings in production. Eight Zerglings plus a queen. But the spawning pool is definitely, definitely going down. And another one's going to have to be made. More Zerglings are coming in now. And the drones are going to be fighting. But honestly, what do you do from this point onwards? We have the drill. We're waiting for the Lings to pop. Finally, they pop. It's 12 workers versus 12 workers. A lot of damage has been taken, but it's actually not that uh, not that straightforward here because you have two hatcheries worth of larva if you're solar right now. You have no spawning pool, so you have to reproduce that before anything else happens. But Hydra, I think, uh, uh, he certainly did enough damage for the game to continue, but he doesn't have a second hatchery, and that's going to be so crucial right now. I wonder if he just kept streaming Zerglings, if he might have been able to take the victory here. But he was droning up behind that, so uh, the pass is the pass. There's no point worrying about that now. But the question is, once this spawning pool goes down again, Solar's going to be droning up the whole time. I think that might actually be enough. Because if Solar's been droning up the entire time... Uh, by the time the pool goes down, he, he's just going to have a worker advantage here. He's trying to prevent the, uh, the hatch from going down at the natural expansion. It's going to be so, so late. Both players are at 18 workers. Solar now actually going ahead with 19. It's just that he can't actually produce queens and zerglings at the moment. That's going to change in about five seconds' time. So Hydra at the moment, I think, might be in a little bit of a pickle. I don't realistically think he's going to get any damage done with these Zerglings. They're slow. There should be a Queen on offer here. And we've got a Spine Crawler going down in the natural as well. I really don't think substantial damage should get done. And we're at the 6 minute and 20 second mark. And the Hatchery only just starts going down. Solar is now ahead in Workers. And Hydra's going to have to try and make something work here. Problem is, I'm not actually sure he can. Once his Spine Crawler decides to relocate to the top of the ramp... Uh... 
Hydra's days of terrorizing the Stoic base look like they're going to be numbered. And uh, he knows he has to do something quickly, and that's exactly what he does. He knows, hang on a second, the later I wait, the worse this might get for me, so I'm going to move in now. And round two actually looks really good for Hydra. He's moving in, trying his best to pick everything off in the natural expansion, manages to get the queen. He's not going to get the spawning pool again. It's all the way back uh, in the corner of the main base, but he has got six slings here, ready to wreak havoc inside the main. Number of workers killed seven to zero at the moment, so the worker count once again reset Hydra back in the lead, 22 to 18 on that front. He really needed that attack to work because his, his natural expansion still isn't done, guys. Yes, he's behind by four workers. There are more larva for solar right now to be able to do this. So Hydra has managed to get himself back into a competitive position. Uh, and we're basically resetting the situation here because the hatch is about to complete. Hydra will start to uh, inject this now and he will be able to get those additional larva on the field. So we take a look. It's 22 to 21 workers right now. And 12 Zerglings to 12 Zerglings at the 8 minute mark after a very, very aggressive game. Someone could blink and then we'll see like an extra round of links and that could actually tip the balance and win the game at this point. Really, really knife edged right now. 18 Zerglings coming out from a Hydra. It looks like he is going to be the person who might want to do that first. And we have more drones coming out right now for Sola. A little bit of a scout just trying to take a look at what the army behind the spine crawler is for Sola here. And Hydra spots it and gets out. 20 more Zerglings on the way. He is pulling them up. He is getting ready to go in one massive push. And here we go straight underneath the Overlord. Sola knows what's incoming now. Uh, looks like... Is it going to be panic stations with evolution chambers? One Evo is going to try and go down. And it's actually going to be protecting the ramp to the main base by the looks of things. Two are going to go down here to try and give these Zerglings as big a run as possible into the main base. But there are so few Zerglings here being produced. Sol is going to have to pull the drones once again. And Hydra is doing a lot of damage. He's now ahead by 10 supply. No gas for him at the moment. He's just constantly mining minerals trying to push through with this wave of Zerglings. And at the moment it looks like he's going to be able to do that. Supplies 55 to 42. Sol is still holding his 32 to 22. But that's it. GG. And Hydra wins. And he manages to pull it back to 4 and 3 against Samsung Solar.